You can see them there. They're having a fight up at the top. Where? Just over the top of the where the bank touches. There. There, those two there. You zoom in there. Yep. Up a bit. Look, look at that, everybody. Two Thompson's gazelles having a fight. Look. That is magnificent. Look at that. And their horns are rapier long. And here we have some wildebeest at the water again. Now the zebras are getting in on the act. There are zebras this side watching them. And now they are rock climbing. Now I can only think that that's because there's a big crocodile this side. Because that kind of mountain, mountain goat-like behavior is ridiculous. Yeah, now you know what? I can't, I'm just look. I'm scanning the water with my binoculars, everyone, to see if I can't see the telltale eyes or scales of a crocodile sticking up. I can't, but I do know that there's a massive crocodile behind the headland that we can't see behind here on this side of the river. And although this river bends, or pretty much traverses a, a line that is um, from northwest to southeast, it bends all over the place. It snakes everywhere. So this particular bend means that they are heading south. And Jules, you wanted to know which direction they were heading. It is that they are heading south. This particular piece of the river flows east-west. Let's just eat, eat, scan again the water's edge and see if there isn't perhaps a crocodile lurking. I don't know if you can hear them, everyone. They're going, oh, oh, oh. It's a wonderful sound. But one begs the question as to why they should be desperate to get across the river. I don't really understand. Laura, no, don't worry. You say, will they die if they don't cross? No, Laura, they won't die. Um, there's plenty of grass that side. But there's obviously some reason, some driver, very powerful driver, bringing them across. There's one in the water now. There's the brave one. That's the one. Here he goes. Now, let's watch. Now, what's happening, everybody? You'll hear all around me, people are starting to almost start cheering. They will be pushed slightly down this way, everyone. Look, there's a croc! There's a croc! There's a croc! It's a huge croc! Look at him! He's massive! He's turning towards them and they can do nothing! Oh my goodness! Look at this! They're trying to get away from him. Oh! I cannot believe this. There's a little one. There's a little one. So it's not that easy for the croc. He's grabbed one. That is a massive crocodile, everybody. He's got to be at least 10 feet long. He's grabbed one by the tail, by the leg now. He's grabbed it. He's got it by the tail. Oh no, it's gone behind the headland now. Half, half of the herd is coming out. We cannot move everyone, I'm sorry about this. Go forward, go forward Robert. Get in there. We'll try and get in forward now. Oh, this is unbelievable. Can you believe it? Okay, everyone, we don't know. We don't know what's happened now. We can't see. No one can get behind this headland. And we'll just see if we don't see one perhaps missing a tail. I can hear bellowing. And here comes the zebra. We haven't seen zebra cross before. This is unbelievable. Oh, look, the croc's still there. He's still going. He's, the wildebeest are just leaping here. He's obviously still in those shallows there, just behind this headland. There he comes, here he comes, here he comes. 
Here he goes. Straight for one there. Oh, jeepers. This is unbelievable. There, he's got one. No, it's got away. That crocodile is the biggest crocodile I've ever seen, everyone. And there are many of them here. Now he's lying in the shallows. And they're being pushed by the current straight towards him. The last stragglers in there. They're not the last stragglers. They're middle size of the herd. He's biding his time for another lunge. Yeah, blob it, McBlob. Lovely to hear from you. I you say you say your heart has popped out of your chest. Mine too. Ooh, here we go. Oh! This is just. This is too unbelievable. Now two of them have given up. That one that was being chased has been bitten. He's given up. He's going back the other side. One of them has taken fright. And I'm just going to look and see while you're watching the crocodile. Not injured, hey? No injuries. No, he's, he's scrambling up under there. That's him there, everyone. Now there's a young one trying to make it across just below the headland here. And the crocodile is after him, but we can't see it. Zebras have thought no ways. He was people I really didn't expect to see this on our very first day here. Crocodiles <laughs> trying to catch wildebeest on a Maasai Mara crossing. Now they've just crossed onto the Mara Triangle. You can hear the You can hear the a couple of the zebra alarm calling. Oh, what? That was just unbelievable. <sighs> My goodness. <laughs> and Aunt Sissy, you say, can you believe that what we're doing here is being broadcast live? Aunt Sissy, I can't believe I'm seeing this, let alone broadcasting it to you live. And what an unbelievable thing that you are seeing this all over the world. You've just watched one of the most iconic African wildlife spectacles that there is. Crocodiles in the Mara River grabbing at the migrating wildebeest. And somehow he managed, he conspired to miss. You can see how they don't, they cannot have any dent on this wildebeest population. There are so many of them. Yeah, and James Richard, I have to say, I agree with you. I mean, this is, I'm seeing this for the first time like you are. You say the croc success rate is a lot lower than you imagined. Yeah, I would agree. Much lower. I mean, I, we probably had a lunge at, what, 50 of them? And there he is. You see, we didn't see him. I don't know if he was the same one that was on the banks here. He could well have been. There could have been others lying underneath. And apparently the croc is just below the bank here. He's just there. There he is. There's the croc. There is the nasty reptile. Dina, you say you can't believe you're watching this all the way in California. Well, I can't believe I'm standing here watching it. And you can hear all the vehicles starting up probably now. They're off to go and have a drink. They're all going to be staring at the photographs they've taken. Yeah, I think we'll try and move back over there. All right, we're going to try and move the car, everybody. While we do that, let's head across to Steph, get an update from him, and we'll move.